the thing, right? I mean, like I said, it's less than a 2% chance of giving singularity if you apply directly, which is why singularity is rolling out the singularity X kind of model, a salon style model, where we will encourage you guys to basically participate and, and see you, you know, and give you more information that's happening. At the moment, the only thing is to like either join the singularity, uh, <coughs> uh, singularity Australian New Zealand community group that I set up, or follow me on Facebook at the moment. Um, but they are going to roll out uh, online media. So singularity site a lot of the lectures now online. Um, the same icon has dropped from yours was people should just you know break the system a little bit and try and do meaningful things and do cool stuff in that bad time. And, um, I guess my question is then become why are they trying to solve meaningful problems? Right, because the thing is that it's so cheap. It's no, there's no better time than now to be an entrepreneur. I mean, okay, let me give you an example. Eric Ries, right, he startup. He's a faculty at Singularity. Um, you know, he, he did an interview with Jason Mendes. Eric Ries, you know, I mean, I'm not sure if you guys look at Business Canvas, Lean Startup, and all that stuff. So, you know, if you're not, then you should maybe take Steve Blank, Eric Ries lecturer's class uh, for free in Destiny.com. If you want to take the class, business models. So, anyway, Eric said, he was asked by Coca-Cola to come in to tell them what can possibly disrupt them. Because they're afraid that, you know, it's all under the Kodak, right? And they are a multi-billion dollar company too. So Eric said, you know, at Harvard University today, to graduate from the MBA program, we give you $100 to set up a company, and we should do a demo at the end. And Eric said he went to this, uh, went to this uh, the demo day, and was walking around looking at the project, and uh, guiding up to him being a bottle of drink. And he said, what's your project? And that's it, you're holding it. It's an organic juice, right? You, you know, He set up this company for less than $100. He's got his friend to do the website for free. He's got the manufacturer to give him you know, like his free products to try it out, to test out the market. And he got a whole thing done for $100. Right? And then Eric told Coke, that's what's going to disrupt you. That's your competitor. And Coke was like almost laughing the head off. Right? Like, you know, we are a multi-billion dollar company. If this guy grow big enough, we buy them out. Like Dasani, right? Like Mount Franklin, they're all over by Coke. Once you get big enough, Coke buys you up. And you know, we compete with like a Pepsi, right? We don't compete with small guys like that. We buy them up. And Eric said, okay, fine. But just imagine, right, this guy created this company for hundred dollars and somebody's gonna drink his juice, he's not gonna drink Coke or any other Coke product. Now imagine hundred thousand people around the world doing the same thing for hundred bucks each. How are you gonna buy everybody out? You see, that's the thing. You see, so your just your question is it's very cheap to set up companies nowadays. You can have a job and still run the, the online and, and you have two and a half million people online, you know, willing to be a part of the, the customer. So I think, you know, you should really, you know, I mean, I mean, in terms of funding it, I mean, I think you should go talk to Chris. Chris, you should, uh, you should advise the guy. Chris, Chris runs multiple companies and study at the same time. So go talk to him. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, you know, I was born with a silver spoon, so it's a 